So imagine you don't have any data at all, which is completely fine, but you've got to site and you've got some existing walls. Maybe you've got like a, a quick sketch that you've drawn up and you want to figure out how you can like come off that wall and start setting out a building or a shed or a curve or anything. So that's where you would start, say you create a new project called Malvin, I won't create it for you. Uh, different, you might separate into what you need. I've got grids. So when I go into sketching, this is where I can draw it in. So say you've got an existing wall, you get the site, you've got like an existing wall, you've got two fences or whatever. That wall is, you, know, you pull a tape, whatever, you've got 20 meters or you use a total station. You've got 20 meters. Yeah, I'll show you how to do it with a total station actually another time. But say you just want to draw it all in before you get to site. Okay, draw the line in. All right, cool. So now I know that I'll go down here, I'll go offset. I know that the off this existing wall, that's maybe like a, a neighboring wall that's 20 meters long, perfectly straight. I want to um, set out off that 1.5 meters. I want to set out a line that's directly opposite it. I can use this button to flick it on the side. I want to flick it on this side. Uh, this is just a height offset. We're not even going to use heights right now. So I click, okay, cool. So now you've got your neighbor's line and then you've got your line. You could have actually, I'll show you how to do that actually. I'll go undo button. I'll go offsets, click here. I want to go two meters off. Flick it which side you want. And you can actually create a code. So you might be, okay, this is my, I want to call this uh, new wall. Not very creative, but that's right. So now I flick it on this side. So now that line will be, I can actually, now I've created, look at this, look at this. I do have data in there. Where am I? Grids. Now I can actually turn off my layer. They have thought of everything. All right, so now you can go to start point and then you can draw in, uh, a, I don't know, you can also, yes, you can draw in a line that's two meters long. You can say, okay, I want to set out from that two meter offset. I want to set out six points at, oh, six points at two meter intervals. Now I've got my six points. Click tick. Now I've got six points. So then I might come back down. I only want to do one time, but I want to come down 20. Uh, maybe I'll do 10 but I'll do it twice. Cool. And then what you can do, you can either go back and close it like this, or you go connect points, drag it across, tick. So what you would do then, is you go to home, you go setup. It's the first time we've ever got to look at this first. You do control line setup. You would set up next door to it, where it's sketching. You'd set up over here. You'd shoot that line, shoot this line here to get, so you get the right uh, datum bearing of your setup. Then you can set out all these points and lines. Easy as that. Um, so with a sketching app, there's a lot of tools and functions. Obviously I tried to make it simple. If you want this, contact me on LinkedIn or email or something. Um, I can, more than happy to send you this. I've also created another YouTube video just on the sketching app because of how powerful it is. It is a long video though, so I try to make this shorter. Uh, it goes through all the different things. Um, and what you can do is you can draw on here, you can export it to CAD, you can keep drawing on CAD, put it back to here. Um, but what's really cool, which I think a lot of people will end up using, is this um, arcs tool. So you might want to draw an arc between here, here, and here. And now you've got an arc. And then what you can do is go to Home, Layout Lines, and you can set out that, that arc. So you can put as many points as you want along that arc. Or what you could do is you go to Sketching, Check out the other video to know how to do all these things. Right, point creation, divide line. I want to divide this. I want to set out five points along that arc. Hick. Now I've got five points I can set out with my total station. Go to layout points. Click that. Click start. And then now it'll... Well, I've actually got one set up over there if you're wondering why I keep looking over there. And now I can set out each point and mark out that arc. Instead of having to pull a tape or however else you... Guys, do it. I don't know how. I, don't, I wouldn't know how to do it without this. <laughs> so yeah, just a small thing about um, sketching app. I would have absolutely no idea how to do it without this. I'm guessing you pull a string. I don't know. Um, there's heaps of different tools, but yeah, the other one is the the start, and you go left or right, and you can draw like that. Um, oh, there's heaps of things. Have a look at the other video. See. You.